Captain Buck, head of the Chamber of Commerce. Mr. President, we know that you don't wear a hat. <laughs> we couldn't let you leave Fort Worth without providing you with some protection against the rain. in the uh, White House on Monday. If you'll come up there, you'll have a chance to see it there. And to protect you against local enemies in the manner that you are protecting this nation against our foreign enemies, and to keep the rattlesnakes on Vice President Johnson's ranch from striking you, we want to present these, this pair of boots. <laughs> We won't ask you to put them on. <laughs> Here. Twin city rivalry between Fort Worth and Dallas now requires a small gesture to civic pride. The president must return to the Fort Worth airport and make the 30-mile hop to Dallas by the 600-mile-an-hour presidential jet. The president is in good spirits. The Texas trip is going well. Aside from an occasional hostile placard, the crowds are friendly. As he departs Fort Worth, eager citizens bask briefly in the presidential aura. Elsewhere, 